Hello and welcome to the final episode of the Midnight Thoughts podcast. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, this is the final short story of the book, the final uh, nail in the coffin. We really did it. We got to the end. There was a minute there where I didn't think it was going to happen, uh, where I was in the hospital, where I uh, had a bunch of tubes in my body and I didn't think that I'd be able to get an episode out but we we managed to pull it off they all came out on time and all seven of you who have tuned in religiously to check this show out uh, 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 sure did listen so thank you I really do appreciate it thank you to everybody who's tuned in the whole time thank you to those of you who've dipped in and dipped out and if this is your first episode of the show my god welcome guess what there's a couple couple you know, uh, had half a dozen hours of content for you to check out well anyway uh this is the final story like i said and it's one of my favorite like i've said most of the times I've realized, most most episodes of the show, I've said the story was one of my favorite. And you know what? I'm going to say it. All of my stories are my favorite. Except for the land. The land I was insecure about. But the rest of these, they're all my favorite. But the end, this last one here, this is one of my favorite favorites. And it's only a couple pages long. So... Before I get into it, I just want to say one last time, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being a part of this. And if you've enjoyed any part of this journey, I would encourage you to buy the book. It's on Amazon. It would sure help me out right now. I'm not working. I am uh, <laughs> uh, waiting on disability money. I'm waiting on a lot of things and uh, even just a couple bucks in the bank because somebody bought a book puts my mind just a little bit more at ease. Um, all right, that's I'm so tired of telling people to buy things. That's why I put this show out for free, by the way. I was tired of telling people to buy things. I started hiding books in bookstores, then I decided I'd put it out as an audiobook for free, and damn it, I still believe those things, but you know what? Uh, your boy has medical bills, so if you want to support him, uh, buy his book. All right. I'm so tired of saying that. Let's get into the story. This is called The End. Shouts and gunshots ring out, but he ignored them. The power had been out for days. The cool autumn sunlight filtered in through the closed blinds, illuminating the pages of the paperback novel in his hand just enough to keep his eyes from straining. A Velvet Underground album played on the portable, battery-powered record player that sat on the floor next to his bed. He'd bought it a year ago, along with half a dozen of his favorite albums, and left it to gather dust after a few weeks. Like most folks, he listened to his music on his phone. Of course, his phone had been dead for days, and he couldn't help but feel he should have been listening to the turntable the whole time. The book in front of him wasn't a great work of literature. He'd read many of those, and appreciated them. But at the end of the day, this simple paperback, never a bestseller, or even well-reviewed, had been his favorite book since high school. He was close to the end, just 20 pages left. Lou Reed's voice trailed off as the record came to an end, and the sound of frantic lovemaking pierced his wall. He set the book down, open-faced, on his bed, something that had always earned a glare from his last girlfriend, and leaned down, flipped the record over, then dropped the needle on the vinyl edge. After a moment, Reed's voice drowned out the sounds of passion, and he returned to his book. Just a few pages left. A part of him hoped he'd finish, another that he wouldn't. He didn't want to have to start something else, knowing he'd never get through it. The sky darkened outside, and the ground began to shake. The record scratched and then stopped completely. He shifted closer to the window and hunched over the book, barely making out the words. 
He didn't look up as his single framed picture, a shot of himself and his mother with their arms around a stranger dressed as a cartoon mouse, clattered to the floor. The room grew darker, the shaking greater. He gripped the paperback with white knuckles to keep it steady, inches from his face. He was on the last page. The room filled suddenly with orange light, nearly blinding him, but he'd made it. As the world died in tectonic annihilation and fire, he read the words. The end. And that was the end, everybody. The last story in Midnight Thoughts. Um, I wanted to end... I, I genuinely am pretty proud of that story because it it got to an emotional truth uh for me as a as a fan of art as a fan of the written word specifically you know when the end of the world comes what a, a lot of stories have been told at this point about that what what does that look like for you and i can't say that at this moment in my life I would be hunched over a book, but I can tell you that at many, many times in my life, that's how I would greet the asteroid. Um, and that's because in those moments of my life, words written on pages were what got me through the day, what got me through the next minute sometimes. And so that particular story does mean a lot to me. And I, I hope, I hope if you're someone who loves the written word as well, it's something that struck a chord with you. All right. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess that's the podcast, everybody. Uh, we will be back on this feed with more stuff. I will have another book out, uh, hopefully before the end of the year, and we'll start this whole process over again. In the meantime, uh, we're going to start a little bit of a book club. You know what? Never mind. We're just going to announce it now. The uh, The first episode of the book club will come out a month from today. That is... Okay. Today is the 21st of July. The 21st of August will be our first book club episode, and that will be on Books of Magic by Neil Gaiman. It's uh, Curveball, everybody. It's a a, a comic book collection, a graphic novel. Should be able to track it down. It's uh, very famous. It's by one of the most successful fantasy authors of all time. Um, I think you'll be able to manage tracking it down if you want to uh, hear a discussion uh, about that. That'll be uh, with me and a guest, TB, uh, uh, TBA. I know who it is, but uh, we haven't done the episode yet, so... I'm not going to announce it yet. Um, all right, guys. I will see you in about a month with with the the Books of Magic book club episode. We're, we're just going to have a wide-ranging discussion about it, I think. I don't think you have to do a whole lot of homework. You should read the book. It's pretty good. All right, guys. I, I, don't, I don't know how to end this. I don't know that I want it to end. It's This, this process has meant a lot to me in some ways that are really uh, difficult to articulate. So I'm not going to try here, but I do one last time want to say thank you to everybody who's listened. And uh, again, uh, the, the podcast is, is up forever. The book is on sale forever. So if, if you ever get a hankering for it, listen again or go buy the book. For the love of God, go, go buy the book. I'm going to be in debt the rest of my life. Uh, okay, we'll end it with that. Uh, I, I love all of you to different degrees. Um, goodbye. Goodbye.